guys, Urban Suburban here. Hope everyone's doing well. Tonight I want to talk to you about uh, a fellow I met online and uh, some products of his that I've purchased over the last year or so, maybe even a little, maybe even 18 months. Uh, and that would be Jesse Myers, uh, better known as Armor Shees. Uh, I've done a number of videos already on his uh, couple of his products, and I just got another one, or not just, but uh, probably about a month ago, got another one of his products. So I figured I'd do one video and sort of put everything that I have of his together uh, to show in one video um, and just to talk about uh, what a great product I think that he has and uh, why I think uh, if you guys are in the market for some Kydex work, uh, you should consider giving this guy a shot. Um, the first sheath that I purchased off him was for my Mora Companion Heavy Duty. And I basically just fluked into Jesse because I just went online, went to Google and uh, typed in Kydex Mora Companion. And uh, his was the first and at that time might have been the only hit that I had. And uh, it was on eBay. Uh, he sells most of his items through eBay as far as I know, uh, at least in North America, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But uh, So I went on to eBay, found it. Uh, at the time it was $35, give or take, uh, American for this sheath. Uh, so I ordered it right away because I really love this knife. I wanted to upgrade the sheath, and for $35 bucks, I figured it was well worth it. Got in the mail and loved it. Uh, he uses, for the most part, all .093, I guess it is, Kydex, the thicker Kydex. Uh, you might be able to see that there. It's nice and thick. Um, but, I mean, it still weighs almost nothing. It's still Kydex. Uh, belt loop, it came with a uh, horizontal on it. But he's got his eyes spaced out, the rivets all done, so that uh, I have taken it off and put it to uh, horizontal carry. And it's worked great. I actually prefer it horizontal carry because it's a smaller knife. Works really well. And it's actually light enough that I think what I'm going to try next uh, is just put some paracord through the two bomb eyelets here and take the belt loop right off and try it as a neck knife. It, uh, as you can probably hear, snaps in there fantastic. Pops out great. Uh, no rattling whatsoever. This thing is awesome. He's got his drain hole that'll show up there. He drills, for the most part, his drain holes through the bottom, uh, and it seems to work really well. So that was the first one I got. This paracord here is actually for uh, about two or three videos ago. I was talking about that Baldrick sling I made, specifically actually for this sheath. It works really well on here too, and I like carrying it that way as well. But uh, if I'm gonna do this neck carry, I'll have to take this off, obviously. Anyway, I got this, I liked it a lot. Then I got my Ontario R-Tac II, and uh, I think everyone's fairly familiar with that knife, Ontario Sheaths, uh, kind of standard nylon sheath. Not terrible, but I figured, you know what, why not operate it? So again, I went online, Google, and one of the only, if not the only, hits that came up was Armor Sheaths on eBay. So I figured, well, I like the first one, let's give it a try again. And so I ended up getting this guy. As you can see, the first one was a taco style. So basically fully ambidextrous. Um, you can switch that loop almost anywhere you want. Sorry, pancake style, I think I might have said taco. This one is a taco style. Same style belt loop, this one's just a little wider. This way, not this way. And uh, again, just great. It, this thing, uh, super heavy knife, and it doesn't rattle. Really nice, positive click in. This thing isn't going anywhere. You could mount this thing upside down, and even with this heavy knife, it's not coming out. Now, after having this for a while, uh, both the sheath and the knife, but in particular the knife, I've just come to find that it's just too big to carry on my belt, too heavy. Um, I shouldn't say it's too big or too heavy, but I just prefer not to, and that has nothing to do with the sheath. It's just the length of the blade, the knife, and the heft to it. And this, I think what I'll probably do is I'll end up taking the belt loop off and putting a um, 
molly lock or some on there and just mounting this right to my pack um, and again that's no knock on the sheath whatsoever the sheath has been fantastic as you can see here this one sort of more of your standard style um, drainage hole on it but again lots of uh, eyelets here so lots of options for moving belt clips up and down uh, put a tech lock on here if you want and he does offer a lot of those options uh, he, this is I think kind of a standard belt loop or at least at that time it was this is probably over a year ago I've had, got this uh, but he carries I know he carries molly locks now or sorry tech locks possibly molly locks he also does uh, more of a offset drop um, drop loop which I'll talk about in a little bit but again I was just really really impressed with this uh, you can see the uh, thumb ramp here or the thumb push off for taking this thing out just works fantastic this guy here just doesn't need one it just the nature of the handle I guess and uh, well for whatever reason it just doesn't need it it pops in and out nice and easy but yet really nice and positive in there I like that so that was my first two and then I figured oh well, what the heck everything goes in threes so I ordered another one and at this point I actually already started talking to uh, Jesse uh, I believe he actually contacted me first um, outside of a sale. Uh, he found one of my videos actually uh, about his knives. Uh, I don't recall whether it was the Mora or the Ontario. I think it was actually the Mora. And through that he started contacting me and uh, uh, I went online and perused his web bay, or web bay, eBay store again and found that he made uh, sheaths for the SOG Seal Puff Elite, which I happen to own. So I contacted him and said, hey, Jesse, I'd love to get another one of your sheaths and, uh, for my Seal Pup Elite because it's a great knife, but again, kind of a sh crappy uh, nylon holster. And he said, yeah, absolutely, what color, um, that sort of thing. Uh, even if he didn't have it particularly posted on his eBay store at that time, he said, you know what, what color do you want, how do you want it? And I told him basically how he had, had them on his eBay store except I think the ones he had on there posted that timer black. I said, well, I'd like it in uh, some sort of Coyote 10. And so he did that. And at that point, he actually said, full disclosure here, guys, uh, that he was going to throw in this new style of ferro rod loop for me since this was my third sheath. And, of course, I jumped on that um, and said, absolutely. So I paid for the sheath. He threw in the ferro rod loop. That's my ferro rod. And as you can see there, it's a little different style. It's not a fully enclosed loop. It basically curls around. And there's the back. Again, this is a pancake style. So fully ambidextrous. This loop is fully ambidextrous. Uh, you just take it off, flip it around, you're good to go. Same style belt loop is on the Mora. And again, this thing, well, that's my on well, my paracord whipping around here but doesn't move in there it's not coming out no matter how hard you shake this thing if you want to mount this thing upside down no problem uh, horizontal no problem and uh, just listen to this click Ooh, I can't even see what I'm doing here that's a hell of a click um, pops in and out when I got it it was actually really really tight but I the more I've used it, it's kind of the Kydex, I guess, is broken in a little bit if you, that's how you put it. But uh, another awesome, awesome sheath. And it just grips that ferro rod perfectly right now. This ferro rod hasn't been used a lot. Uh, obviously, once I strike it more, it starts shrinking down. Of course, like any loop, it's going to loosen up, so I'll have to put a piece of shock cord on here to keep it in place. But for now, it works real slick. Now for the last one. Uh, if you guys uh, have been following my channel for a while or even just watch a couple of my videos, you know not too long ago, just before Christmas probably, or just after, I did a review, uh, sorry, not a review, I haven't done that yet, a preview of a new knife I got, and that was the Buck Thug. And I love this knife, I'm still going to do a full review on it yet, I want to get a little more bush time with it, but the Thug. So again, I went online, and... Uh, Googled Kydex sheaths for Buck Thug, and there was almost nothing. Um, there was one or two manufacturers I think I could find that uh, had pre-made 
um, buck thug sheaths. I'm sure I could could have contacted any custom guy and mailed them my knife and had them had it made. I'm sure there's a bunch of guys that did that. Um, but before I did that, excuse me, I went to Jesse's eBay store again, which is Armor Sheaths, and uh, looked at his listings to see what he had listed and. Unfortunately, no thug. He had the buck hoodlum and uh, a ton of other knives, but no buck thug. So I sent him an email because uh, we've been in kind of fairly regular contact, uh, especially after my third knife or sheath. And I sent him a message and said, hey, Jesse, uh, I see, I, I realize you don't have any posts on eBay right now, but I just thought I'd double check to make sure uh, to see whether or not you are making sheaths for the buck thug. And he sent me an email back. He said, you know what, sorry. Uh, at this time, I, I, I don't own that knife. I haven't made any sheets for that. I said, you know, no problem. No big deal. And uh, I did my preview video. And I guess Jesse saw that. And he sent me an email probably two days maybe after I'd posted my preview video of this knife. And he said, man, that is a wicked looking knife. I got to get one. And he said, uh, once I get one, I'll be making a sheath for it and as soon as I do I'll let you know. And within a week he sent me another email and said uh, I got a thug, what a beast of a knife, fantastic blade, how do you want your sheath? So uh, we went back and forth a little bit and uh, I kind of told him my ideas, how I'd like it and uh, he had some suggestions and uh, basically we came up with this. Pretty much, he, I mean, he would have done anything I wanted, I think. Uh, the only thing I told him was uh, I wanted uh, to hang lower on my belt so it didn't jab me in the side, so some sort of drop, uh, drop loop. I wanted it as compact as possible, like, and there's only so much you can do there, but as compact as possible, and I said I'd like it in gray to match the handle scales. And he said, yep, no problem. I'm going to whip up a prototype. It may take a little while, a little, um, uh, testing and evaluation I guess and some trial and error and he said once I get it right I'll let you know and I'll post it and you can grab it off of eBay so uh, probably a week later he sent me a message saying guess what my very first try I think I got it right uh, it's in the color you want I think I got it set up the way you want I'm gonna post it tonight grab it tonight and so I did and it is awesome Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what I'll do is I'll just move the camera here, guys, and give you a little bit of a close-up on, close on this bad boy. Okay, guys, so here is my new buck thug sheath for, or from Armor Sheaths. And like I said, uh, Jesse asked for my input on this. And one of the things that I asked for was a drop sheath or drop belt loop. So he did that. And this is something that he offers on uh, most of his sheets. I guess it's a it's an option you can get. As you can see, nice good drop on it. Also, it's an open loop here that clicks really nice, uh, nice and stiff. But you don't have to take your belt off to put this on, which is really nice. Um, the other thing I said I wanted it as compact as possible, so you can see he really trimmed down really everywhere he could and made it as. Uh, the least amount of excess kydex as possible. Uh, really great uh, push off here again for your thumb molded right in, taco style. And again, he threw in uh, one of his ferro rod loops. This one's a little bigger, uh, same style. And he actually threw this ferro rod in, which was really, really above and beyond. And I don't know if he's going to be selling these because uh, my understanding is he made this. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is something he's going to sell because. He is getting into all kinds of stuff. He's told me that he makes some um, primitive bows uh, out of like you and deer sinew and like, I mean, primitive, primitive bows, addle addles, uh, stuff like that. So the guy is a real craftsman. I'd love to get my hand on one of those at some point. Uh, that'd be really cool. But again, so he threw this in. Again, full disclosure, guys, this was a freebie for me. And, uh, but man, I've, sparked it in the kitchen here in the sink a few times and this thing just it's like a dragon breathing fire it is fantastic and uh, he will make these belt loops sorry belt loops these ferro rod loops in whatever size you want if you have a particular favorite ferro rod and if it's a uh, three eighths or five eighths or quarter inch whatever you want you tell him he can make these to size 
And again, it's that uh, sort of not closed loop. Just kind of curls around, but it works really well. Again, you can see he's got the drilled um, drainage hole in there. Nicely, uh, rivets are all really nicely done. And again, uh, if you wanted, he, he'd throw a tech lock on there for you, a standard size belt loop, uh, whatever you want. He's uh, really good for that. And again, uh, because there's a bit of a recurve in this blade, I, I guess he thought he might have some issues with it, and I for sure thought he would. I didn't know how he was going to get around that, other than maybe one of those sort of three-quarter open ones that a lot of guys do on Kukri's, where you kind of slide it out the side, but I don't know if I can do this or behind the camera here, but this, you kind of, it goes in at a bit of an angle, and then it just, again, he's got that great click. I love that click. And to draw it, you got this great push off here for your thumb, and you kind of draw it at an angle like that, like a scimitar draw. And man, does it work good. Just perfect. Again, I just love this sheath. And as for the price, guys, um, I don't want to quote prices too much because some of those I bought over a year ago. Um, but this one, without the ferro rod loop, I think would have been $60, maybe even just under $60. That's pretty fantastic as far as I'm concerned. And I feel really blessed to have gotten this one because this is his literally his prototype and you can see I mean being a prototype how well this is put together I mean you'd think there'd be marks all over it and all kinds of stuff but it's I mean it's gorgeous and as you can see at least to me that gray on gray is just gorgeous anyway guys I'll give you another quick little look here a bit of a close-up block myself out here uh, just an absolutely fantastic sheath the craftsmanship the quality of these things are fantastic like I have you seen I own four of them now and every single one of them is just fantastic um, I've been speaking to him a little bit more recently he as far as I know within North America he still um, sells solely on eBay I know he mentioned there are some stores actually overseas that are stocking his sheaths now. I think he said one in Germany and one in Japan, so that is fantastic for him. I know this is something that he wants to um, basically move into a full-time gig if it isn't yet. Um, just great, great stuff. He, Like I said, you go onto eBay, if, there, if what you're looking for isn't there, don't feel uh, afraid to send him an email. As good as these sheaths are, I keep buying them from him because he's such a great guy to deal with. I've never met him in person. I believe he's in Indiana somewhere, maybe even in Indianapolis. Um, never met the guy in real life, but just a pleasure to do business with online. He, right from the very first uh, first transaction when he had no idea who I was, not that that matters at all, but I was just some regular Joe Blow customer. and. Um, he didn't know if I was going to buy one sheath or more sheaths, and just a fantastic guy answered all my questions. Shipping was very fast. He, every single time he's gotten it out, probably within 24 hours of uh, me ordering it, and uh, just great. And like I said, if, if you go to his eBay page, which is Armor Sheaths on eBay, I'll try and put a link, if I can remember, down below in the description box. If there's something you don't see... Uh, particularly if the, he has your style of knife you're looking at or a sheet the knife that you're looking for a sheath for but just not in the color or the belt loop style you want changed or something like that or you want to throw in one of the ferro rod, ferro rod loops or something send him an email he will make it work for you no problem I, I know he does uh, last time I looked all his sheaths on eBay all the photos were in your standard black uh, coyote uh, OD green that sort of thing, but obviously he does the gray uh, I think he'll do almost any color and I know that he's good that if he isn't yet he will be caught uh, carrying uh, all the cryptech camos uh, That'll obviously cost a little more like it does for everyone else uh, exactly how much I don't want to say because I don't know for sure But uh, I mean that's that's just how it goes you you, you got to pay for the licensing in that uh, stuff and so just the raw materials and that cost more so uh, that'll be a few more dollars, but if that's what you like, 
you got to be willing to pay for it. But fantastic guy. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, I will try and remember to put a link to that below. Actually, he has two. One is Jesse Myers. And one, I believe, is Tactical Kydex Gear. I'll have to double check that and uh, try and put that below. But he has uh, just a few videos. Basically, they're actually slideshows. And they just show examples of all different cheeses he's done. So other than his eBay page, uh, you can go to his YouTube channel to check out a lot of the work he's done. It gives some really great examples of what he's done, what he's capable of. And as well as on Google Plus, and he has some photo albums on Google Plus under uh, Jesse Myers as well. And if I can remember, I will put a link for that in as well. If not, he's in my circles. You could probably find him there. Um, and as for the YouTube page, again, Jesse Myers. Uh, I can't say enough. Just a fantastic guy. Makes fantastic quality Kydex uh, accessories, sheaths mainly. Um, and I think he's probably going to be branching out from that a little bit too. He's got some big plans. I wish him well. And like I said, if you guys are in the market for a Kydex sheath, uh, I'm not telling you have to buy from him, but he, I would say he's absolutely worth checking out. Uh, I don't think anyone will be disappointed. Like I, I've told him, um, the only reason I keep buying from him is uh, he makes a great quality piece of equipment and offers it at a very fair price. I don't think you can ask more from that, and it sure doesn't help that he seems to be one hell of a great guy. So anyway, guys, armor sheaths, check them out. Uh, if you're in the market for Kydex, for a nice sheath, check this guy out. He makes uh, sheaths for a lot of really popular knives already, and uh, if you're really, really nice, if he doesn't carry the particular knife you're looking for, Maybe you'll be able to mail it to him, or if it's a really cool knife, maybe he'll go out and buy it and start stocking it uh, on his own. No guarantees on that, obviously, but uh, he seems to always be expanding his lineup, and uh, I expect that he will continue because he's just growing and growing and growing. So anyway, guys, this is Urban Suburban. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.